Hello, hello. And this is another channeled message for, um, yes, to have a man finish his healing so that he is near completion and I will be able to move on and we could do um, some other content. Um, but yes, he is almost finished with his healing and he does need some advice. So yes, this is Yeshua speaking. Okay. And if Lucifer has to come through, I will come through because yes, I am God and the devil at the same time. Okay. Depends. Depends. It really depends on the situation. So this is for a son that is a very sensitive person. He is very sensitive. He is very sweet, giving, loyal, and loving. And he wants to give that affection, that love to a woman and bring it all to her on one plate. And he feels overwhelmed because he just wants a confirmation to if this is true of what he should do. And yes, you should leave where you're at, son. You should. They don't give a fuck about you. See, there's this, the son, right? He is very misunderstood. He believes in me. And he knows for a fact that I'm God and the devil himself. And that's why people misunderstand him because they're like, oh, who's this motherfucker who's into some motherfucking demon shit? Well, motherfucker, it's because he's woke. And he's where you piece of shit, motherfucker. And I'm gonna fuck you up too. For those of you talking behind his back, I don't fucking like that shit. Fuck you, motherfucker. Go fuck him up, okay? Before you leave, give them a good motherfucking curse spell, okay? Send them something. Send them a fucking whoop through their motherfucking body and soul and let them feel it on all levels. Dumb motherfucker. Anyways. Um. Yeah, it is funny seeing a girl this small saying dumb motherfucker and other things. That's why I like it. Is because that's why they click. That's why I have you guys. I, see, I get a cute girl to channel through. Because then the men start clicking on it. And, you know, other people that find her cute, they'd be like, Ooh, who's this cutie channeling through Lucifer and God at the same time? Same person. Yeah, that's I do it on purpose, motherfucker. Because I know you are freak bitches, too, okay? I'm just kidding. I don't mean nothing by that. But, you know, if she's sexy, she gets all the attention. So why not? A pair of titties gets through the... Or I'm, I'm going too far. Too, too far. I need. I need to. I need to calm down. <laughs> it's just my my Lucifer side, which is I like to fucking curse a lot, and I like to just talk shit. I like to do that. It's just my nature. Okay. Now everybody wants to sit down with me. Yeah, I'll sit down with you guys one time, and I, I'll sit with you guys down. Yes, I do have an Earth body here. Okay, I'm just still healing and finishing up my shit. But anyways, we, we'll, we'll meet up. Okay. We'll meet up. Um, but anyways. Son, why the fuck do you care? I know you don't care. Like, Well, yes, you do, actually. Nobody gives a fuck about you. They really don't. First, you got your mama who just giving you the, the talk all the time. And she's just being a dumb bitch and she won't change. And then you got the broken sister. You got the broken cousin. You got the broken uncle. What fucking business do you have over here? What business do you have with all these broken motherfuckers? Why do you want to be around broken people? Now nah, you don't want to be. But, um... Look, I'm gonna just give you this. Shit. Sounds like a Lucifer advice, but fuck it. Just get the fuck out of there. Don't even fucking say shit. Don't say goodbye shit. You want to be go real Lucifer? Just block all of them. Just say, fucking delete your Facebook. Do something. 
that's what you do so you delete all of the things delete all your contacts change your phone number fucking go full on motherfucking born i did no that's that's the wrong movie but what are the fucking movies where they change the identity of the lifetime movies okay yeah just fucking do that shit you don't even have to change it then just just be a motherfucker change it have no act like you because understand brother you incarnated in this family just for its lessons and that's it you were not to stick with this family okay you were not meant to stick with this family and just motherfucking chill and just fuck with them you weren't meant to belong i mean if they did belong if you did belong um i would have said hey stay over there do your thing but no you don't you belong with your lady's family because that's where they'll treat you right you know who your lady's family is they're good people and you know that already that's that's your family because you know they're good people and they're the people that will accept you for you because you have to understand that this woman that you want to give love to and marry and all that stuff and you want to do it now um understand that um she's right for you she's right for you but also she has a family that accepts her for herself she does and you know what that's the truest love that you could ever have and so understand that in your case you don't got motherfuckers that accept you for who you are they don't fucking love you if you think they do then you're stupid because they don't so stop being a dumb motherfucker. Cut the old, old fucking witch. Shit, beat her with a cookie pan before you fucking go. Okay, I'm sorry. I just, I'm out there. Okay, I'm, I'm just really out there. I get intense because I am tired of that fucking bitch in your life. Do you hear me? I am tired of this son of a bitch. I think I'm gonna fucking give it to Lucifer, baby. Give it to Lucifer. Give it to motherfucking me, and I'll deal with the old hag. Okay, I'll fucking do more than just a cooking pan. I'll fucking go around house style, whatever fucking do with this bitch. No. So this is what you do. Can you just pack your motherfucking bags by tonight? Do it, motherfucker. Stop being a pussy bitch, okay? Because let me tell you. Remember how I told you about Hermit James, that fucking lovely man? Remember, folks. When we talk about these names, these are just um, people that I channel through from past lives. They want a soul remembrance. And so when I talk about Herman de James, it helps him cope and heal and to remember himself in this lifetime because he has reincarnated. Okay. So what the fuck was I going to say? See, Herman is a type of man where when he fucking falls in love, shit, he don't give a fuck if it's like been a week or two with his lady. He does it with every lifetime. She is so cute. She's a short little thing and she's adorable. And um, this is what she does. Um, every time they meet, he says, baby, let's move in. And it's even just like two weeks of knowing each other. And they, they always stay together. They grow old. They have babies. It is so fucking cute. That's fucking adorable. Those motherfucking chihuahuas. I call them the chihuahuas, okay? Sorry. It's just like... You know, I call every little dog a motherfucking chihuahua, okay? I have grudges against certain chihuahuas because, you know... <laughs> I had a few of them piss on my leg and do all this other shit even when they knew who the fuck I was. Mischievous motherfucking animals we have on this earth, but oh well. Shit. Said that people can have... Yeah, whatever with the motherfucking chihuahuas, whatever the business. What the fuck was I even talking about? Oh, yeah. That's right. Send the bitch to Lucifer. Okay, my other side. And send the cousins to Lucifer, because I'm going to deal with them real fucking good until they cry to the motherfucking mama. And if they don't got a mama, they could just fucking cry by themselves, because fuck them. What else do I have to say? What the, oh yeah, so yeah, Herman, that's what he does, it's cute. He says, 
Mama, I don't care if I know you within two weeks. I know you're my twin flame. And they end up moving in together all all fast. And some people, they'll be, they'll be around and be like, Oh my God, they moved in that fast. Because they're twin flames. You know when it's right. You know when it's true. That's not a joke. If you move in fast with your mama, that means it's the right time. So yes. Just go do it. Go ahead. Come on. Do the same thing as Herman the James. He is a fucking loving motherfucking Scorpio. I love him to death. Oh my God. He is so damn freaking funny. And he, he's, a, he's a good man. And you know, he just does that. And he, you know what? This man, for this man, he's a Scorpio too. Do the same thing as Herman does it. He just, you know, he doesn't care. He's a fucking, he's a romancer. He makes approach to things here and now. He loves that shit. He loves that shit. So yeah, come on. This is what you do, brother. So tonight, this is what you do. Get up. Smoke a blunt. Shit. Just say fuck everything all together, okay? Pack your bags. Pack whatever you have. And just tell your mama on the phone. Say, hey, you sexy fine thing. I would love to come be with you. And I don't care what I gotta do and what it takes. Come on, you sexy thing. Jesus told me you for me, so let's go. Let's go, mama. Okay? And I know you, another thing you're concerned about, you say, well, what about the family? Motherfucker, they're gonna love you. Because they know that I told. This family knows already that she's getting a boyfriend, okay? This family knows. They fucking, you do realize that these people are like motherfucking spies, okay? I don't know what it is, but this family of hers, <laughs> I love you, but you, these people are psychic as a motherfucker. They know shit. They know when shit happens in another person's life, okay? So, you know, come on, sit, come on down to the wifey. They ain't gonna do nothing to you. No, they won't. Except the, well, the daddy acts a little bit up, but, you know, you, you got a man in the house who could slap him the fuck around, okay? Because understand that the daddy has a daddy, okay? It's kind of ironic and complicated, but you'll understand when you get, you know, when you get to your mama. But anyways, um... Just call her. Say, honey, I would love to be with you. I would love to be with you. You know, God told me you're the one, and I'm going to trust it. So go on. Pack your bag. Shit, you can even call her tonight. Okay? Call her tonight. Give her a call. Say, I'd love to be with you. I don't care what it takes and what it is, but Jesus told me. He said, you're the one for me, baby doll. So come on. Pack your bags and get going make some plans and make them happen this week and shit don't you and when you leave remember don't leave a note on the door shit go change your whole identity if you have to i love that but shit shit brother change it to whatever you want erase your existence from that family that you ever existed that's how you do the luciferic way But shit, if people don't want to change, don't fucking keep sending them a text and telling them what's going on in your life. They can go fuck themselves. But what else is I saying? Just go. Get your shit and go. Pack it up by tonight. And say, Mama, let me go home to you. Let me go home to you. Come on home, Mama. Come on home. Right over where she is and do it block your contacts block all of the existence so remember that saying your old life is going to cost you a lot for a new one it's not really a lot of cost if you don't give a fuck about it so cost of fucking shitty ass people your family that don't even care about you in this case Lose your job, but you find another one. So yeah, why the fuck not?